people think of spiritual practice as things like prayer and meditation, but for us, inclusion is one of our most important spiritual practices. So we're always looking for ways to make our community accessible to more people. In order to uh, include and allow full participation of people with different hearing abilities, we needed a way of assisting them in listening. There was a huge sigh of relief of a fairly large percentage of our congregation who have some form of hearing loss and um, were suddenly able to participate again. Maybe the most remarkable comment I heard was from a man who on the very first day after deciding that he wasn't going to come to church anymore because he couldn't hear, on the very first day the loop was in, he listened and he said that he could hear the water pouring from the cruet into the chalice. And to have that accessibility to sound is something even people of full hearing ability didn't have.